what's up YouTube, Fear Blades here, bringing you guys another episode of the Shell SMP. Guys, today is a super weird day for me, I don't know what's been going on. I just feel really, I don't know how I feel right now. Okay, so I'll give you guys a little rundown. It is currently 8 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Obviously this is not going to be uploaded until Tuesday, because you guys know I rolled with pre-recording one day before. But today is 8 a.m. on a Monday, and I didn't sleep at all last night. You may be asking, Fear, why did you not sleep last night? Well, if you guys don't know, for colleges and stuff, they usually suggest that you have the applications and stuff in by November 30th. And I didn't do my application at all for college. So I stayed up all last night doing my personal statement and college stuff and getting all that figured out and paid for my admission fee and all that good stuff. So that's what I spent my Sunday night doing from about 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. And now it's 8 a.m. and I'm like, hey, I'm awake. I just had some lemonade. I don't know why. I, I just felt like having some lemonade. And now I'm ready to record. There are a couple of things I want to do this episode and show off quite a couple new shops around spawn. I don't know what's the deal with them, but we will explore them. Because, I don't know, they're, I wasn't told to not show them off around spawn. And they are just kind of out here in the open. And usually, in everybody's intro, they usually run around spawn and explore the area. So I would think that if there is a shop around here that somebody didn't want to be seen on camera, they tell me. So we're going to take the benefit of the doubt here and, yeah. Benefit of the doubt. What? Okay, what? I don't even know what I'm saying. Where are my pumpkins? Here they are, 11. Okay, one thing we want to do is this guy right here. We want to get rid of all of the glowstone and replace it with straight up pumpkin. Who keeps on... Okay, I have a question. Somebody keeps on breaking holes in my pumpkin thing. And I don't know who it is. And it's... It's annoying. I don't know who's doing it. I don't know why somebody's doing it, but somebody is. And it is so irritating. We need a block now to put outside just so we can fix this. It's so annoying. I don't know why anybody would do this to troll me. It's not even trolling. It's just annoying. Jeez. I don't know why. Whatever. And I didn't have anything there. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's go get our glowstone from out around outside. But as I was telling you guys before, I was thinking, hey, why not make this jack-o'-lantern shop by the way dwarf got rid of his horse here i let him put it in my little pen area and we will talk about that in a second but thinking why not just sell pumpkins here and make it a straight up pumpkin shop that'd be pretty cool i think that'd be a pretty nifty idea so we are gonna go with that and see how that works out if it doesn't work out well we will obviously change it but for now we'll leave it and see how it works i don't know if me filling everything in would make it look ugly either but we'll leave it like this for now. I don't know. We'll, we'll fix it up later. But let me know what you guys think of that. If that was all pumpkin, would it look nice or would it look too weird? I may have to make the stem a bit longer. But besides the stem being longer, I think if I filled in the eyes and stuff, it'd look fine. But yeah, definitely a longer stem. Anyway, carrying on down the road. Actually, let's go Sleepy Betty Boo real quick. Kobe, best shot ever. 2014. Nope. Okay, close enough. That was a pretty good shot, though. Can't even lie. Right in front of the window. Had to take maybe one step and we're good. Back to spawn area. Where is it? No, not that, not that. Over here. Fashion made a new shop. I think this is Fashion. I don't know what it is. If you guys want to see what it is, definitely go check out Fashion's channel. He built this. I think it's Fashion. So go check out Fashion's next shell. Find out what this is. I don't know what it is. And yeah, he'll probably have his shell out before I show you guys what this truly is. So if you guys want to find out earlier, go check out Fashion's channel. He'll, he's always in my description because I have all the shell members there. So that's an easy way to get to him. Up next is... Over, where is it? Christmas gifts, we don't have to worry about setting those up yet. But if we mosey on over here, wait, no, not here. Wait, what? Where is it? Okay, g and decided to get rid of this thing, and he blew it up. And I'm really hoping he fixes this, because this looks so ugly, this hole in the floor right here. So g and if you're watching this, buddy, are, are you going to fix this, like, soon? Because it looks really ugly, that giant hole. Carrying on down the road... We do have our barn, and what the plans were with the barn is we were going to sell... Okay, Timmy needs to take his mutton out of here so we can get rid of everything in that chest and break it because it's bugging me. We were going to sell a bunch of animals down here, but Dwarf put his horse named Ludwig down here. And what I'm thinking is everybody can put their horses from spawn just around here, and everybody can have a horse stored down here. And then upstairs, I will make extra little stable thingies and sell animals up here. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I don't know at all, but... I want to have a place where people can store their animals, like how Dwarf was able to store Ludwig here. By the way, he can he get out? No, he can't. Okay, that's weird. I hate how he pushes up on it, though. 
I want a place where people can store their animals, but I also want to sell cool animals and sell leads and horse armor and stuff like that. So if you guys have any ideas with that, let me know down below. Maybe, like I said, store animals down there and then maybe have one side for storing people's horses and one side for purchasing new animals so I can have four animals a week and then only four people can rent out a pen and I'll have them pay like, I don't know, a diamond per week or a diamond per two. A diamond per week sounds good because what's a diamond or a diamond per two weeks or whatever and they get to have their own pen and we'll see how that works out. And this side will be purchasable animals and then upstairs we will have maybe we'll make one or two pens like one there, one there and sell them and have the payments. Well, that's what I'm thinking for now. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So let me know what you guys think of that. Ludwig's there. Again, that's Dwarf Source. This, Snowball's father died because Fashion was messing around with Snowball's... No, no. Somebody was on Snowball's father. No, was it Snowball's father? I think. No, Snowball Jr. Snowball Jr. Timmy Source. Someone was messing around on it, sitting on it. Fashion got mad and tried to hit them and accidentally shot the horse and the horse died. So that's out of the picture. But if you guys remember, I breeded Snowball Jr. with this guy. And this is the last bloodline of Snowball. This thing is the baby of Snowball Jr. Snowball Jr. is the baby of Snowball. So, this is the grandson of Snowball. So, this is the bloodline right here. This is carrying on the Snowball race. If somebody kills this, I'm going to kill someone. Because everything Snowball related has died already. And I'm getting upset. Carrying on down the road yet again, we have some new things up here. Oh, what is this, you may say? This is a giant giant I don't know in my opinion guys this is really big this is let's check our coordinates okay so from 184 to all the way down to 149 so I'd say roughly 40 blocks long this build is and it's really big if I was GNH he built this I would have done something underground like a little staircase down and then expand it underground just so it's not such an, I don't want to use this word, but it's the only word that comes to mind, such an eyesore above ground because it's 40 blocks long and it's really, really big. And for a big stone brick square, it kind of gets in the way, but I guess it's too late for now. But I would have dug down and built it underground. This way it's more hidden and less roomy and stuff like that. But what it is, is an extra large locker room. You go inside and you can purchase your area laying down the law. Let's see what this is. Okay, rules. One, no stealing. Two, only take a max of 20 signs. Three, if you break any of the rules, you can go burn your face off with acid. Oh. All right. Uh, let's carry on. What is this? Signs. So he gives you signs to label your chest. And what's upstairs? Is it divided? Ooh. Oh. I see. Okay. Maybe what we can do with Gina's permission is maybe we can spruce up the outside of it because I know why it's big now on the outside it needs to be that big but it could use a bit sprucing up I, I don't know I'll talk to him about it see if you know maybe me him and Timmy or something can all work on making it look sweet so I see you get your own little room here and you can is it free is the question if so it's gonna be nice and I'm gonna want this one right here because it's just convenience like go right up the ladder straight ahead and this is my locker room that'd be sweet I'm going to take that. Can I claim that? Is that a thing? How many signs can I take? Take a max of 20 signs. I only want 16 for now. I'll only take 16. And we will label it ours. Wait, there was no paying, right? Because I don't want to pay. If there's paying, I'm not going to get it. No stealing. Take max 20 signs. If you break it either. Okay. So 20 signs and no stealing pretty much. Alrighty. So I guess we had to claim our room because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 shell members. And this is GNH's chests. Alrighty. So we're going to do something right here. And we're going to do something with GNH is just to match it. And it's going to say fears, chests, and, oh, no stealing. And we'll do one more under it. And, oh, man, see, now I feel like I need something in that one. What did GNH put? <laughs> see cows, see cows. Oh, man. Um, uh, we'll just put slime on it. There you go. Just so we can feel cool like GNH, and we have that claim. I feel like this is the best one because you just go straight up, and your thing's right there. So we got that. Thank you, GNH, for this. I did not understand why it was so big, but I do apologize for saying it was an eyesore and all that. So yes, it is very useful. Thank you for that. And we have the small one over there. 
Also, you guys may have seen this. This is really weird how GNH did this. Those are little ornaments on a Christmas tree. And what it is, it is a bum -ba -dum, wish list shop thingy. Inside of it, what you can do is let's read it. Okie dokie. So, wish list info. To make a wish list, pay one diamond in the payment chest and then write out five of the things you'd want for Christmas in the wish list book. Do not repeat a wish. Example, one diamond block, one diamond block, two diamond blocks, etc. You may only make one wish list. I, the Sea Cow Santa, will give you one of the presents you request. Merry Christmas. Alrighty. So we need to think of five things that we want. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I want. I know what I want. So we need to go over. And what I heard GNH and Fashion talking about this earlier. And Fashion was complaining like, I need to pay for this. And GNH brought the best point up ever. You're getting free stuff. Why are you complaining? Because there's absolutely nothing to lose out of this at all. You just pay and you get free stuff. So where is it? Payments. We're going to give them one diamond. And please. Am I the only one that paid? Huh. Make a wish list. Make a wish list. Here we go. So, make wish list, turn your thing into this, so name, wish list, and one, two, three, five. Adam, he wants four, I wish for gold blocks, I wish for diamonds, I wish for you to not to win everything out of my shop thingy, I win. <laughs> Alright, so that works. Fashion, two diamond blocks, 32 gold blocks, uh, completed animal farm at my house, full enchanted diamond, 20 diamond swords. What? Okay, so name is fear. Oh, wait, no. Fear. Man, this is rough. Because I'm trying to think of what other people would want. And use it in comparison to me. So maybe we could do like um, 15 stacks of chicken. We can do that. There you go. So I think that is pretty good there. We have a bunch of stuff there. So it's either we're making money off of the gold and diamonds. Or we are getting a YouTube video saying that we're G&H's God. Or some boots. Or better yet... A bunch of food so we will never ever ever need to buy from anybody again and the last thing I wanted to do and show you guys is way over here do you have any under pearls I know I stocked this up oh who made it look so ugly too bad I know how to fix that jokes on you jokes on you no I don't I don't know how to fix it I lied but we can do that and then get all my pearls back it bugs me whoever did that I oh my gosh you bugged me so much I refill this entire chest and they do that to me last thing I want to show you guys is my Thanksgiving shop thingy over here. We are officially gonna open it. So let's break it open. We're gonna do two stacks per diamond because it is turkey. It did take me 50 levels to rename it. I know that G&H sells the exact same thing right there, but hey, if you wanna be festive and buy turkey and not chicken, you can go to the Thanksgiving shop. It is the same price, but hopefully people realize that, you know what, why not buy the turkey because festiveness and stuff. So we're gonna drop an old sign down at the signboard over here saying fears thanksgiving shop is now open and that's gonna be it let's see do we have anything holy things everywhere slap says new shop in town this has been here for too long let's take that down um what else free available turkey on 27th pvp arena is almost done that is done actually i was talking to timmy about that as you guys saw fears bow shop is now open that's a bit old we can get rid of that gnh extra large locker room mushroom kingdoms now open christmas santa list is open do not build in this road that's important Diamond chest blades for a puffy shop. And we can put our thing here. So, fears, thanks. Oh, no, we're not going to have enough room there. Thanksgiving turkey shop is open. There we go. So now that is open and everybody knows, but that is going to do it for this episode of the Shell Less MP. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like down below. Comment your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys next time.